Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome to Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. Now, in the hype of Tommy Robinson's release, loads of people were standing outside and Rebel Media was there. And here he found the legend. We don't really know his name yet because he doesn't tell us. He is the representative of ex Muslims United. Round of applause, please. Tell me a little bit about yourself and your sign. Yeah, I want to know about you, but mostly the sign though, yeah? And we'd love to know why you put absolutely no effort into the sign, mate. And you gotta explain why it says Muslims when you're the only one there. Oh, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. My sign, I actually uh, turned away from it. Um, this. Come on mate, let's see, use your words. Ideology which I was brought up into and forced into, because that's exactly how it is, you are forced into it, you have no choice. When I, when I, when I, uh, <sighs> God, mate. have the choice, I turned away from it. So, you do have a choice then, yeah? They can't call us hate speech, because mm -hmm. we have that right. They're not calling you hate speech, yeah? They're calling what you say hate speech. Is it difficult being an ex-Muslim? Do you find either peer pressure or outright threats in the community? Yeah, I don't think this guy's used to interviewing people yet. Yeah? You can't really feed people the answers, mate. That's that's called bias reporting. That's what you're supposed to not be doing. You know, rebel media going against the grain. No. Uh... I I have been saying with the white community for the past 28 years. Hang on a minute, you've just accused your community of being racist. All I've been hearing you banging on about is white people. I've been saying with the white community for fed up of the white people, innocent white people being white people accuse the white community of stereotypes types of white people. The white community are, are the most tolerant. Black people are also there, yeah? And Asians are significantly more racist towards black people. Why aren't you saying anything about that, mate? This is the penal code of the Sharia law. So what? what? What did you say? You went a bit quiet there, mate. Oh, the Are you okay? And tell me about Tommy Robinson and your thoughts about him. Have you met Tommy? Enough of you, mate. Now let's talk about someone that people actually have heard of, yeah? And you and your sign can have a bit of a break now. I was fed up of the white people, innocent white people being pushed into a corner and being called racist. Yeah, it's stuff he hears all the time from you, look. Tommy also being called racist. So I spoke with him and I said, Tommy, let's fly a Pakistani flag to prove that you're not a racist. And he did. This is a ruddy genius. This shiny, bold-headed, Indian villain looking from the 1980s, beautiful man has solved racism. You guys have witnessed something great. Let's give it up. Come on, come on, don't be shy. When I was being brought up in my own community, the Pakistani community, we are taught white people, filthy, pig eating filthy people, the girls are trash, they sleep around. This is the attitudes that I grew up with. Yeah, nah, then maybe you should rectify your own family mate because they sound like a right bunch. So when I came across white girls, if they smiled at me, I thought that they were interested. So this is a attitude that we grew up with. <laughs> nah mate, not we, you. Don't try to plant this on us, yeah? The most racist community in Britain is the Pakistani community to, to which- Yeah, even Ezra thought uh, sucking up was reaching critical levels there. So what title would you give them so other people can identify them? They are the racist community. Right. I have been staying with the white community for the past 28 years. The white community oh. are the most tolerant, warm kind-hearted people I haven't had any issues yeah why don't we ask the people in the Middle East because they're the ones being bombed yeah and Ezra needs to calm down and is nodding mate yeah he's gonna get some severe whiplash inside the loss so you think is all out here comes rewarding on the stand side and Frankie Notori he's running down the Aussie champ and rewarding gets up to win the Prince of Wales stakes you know in the background, do you think they place this handsome, bearded specimen of a policeman just to cheese these people off? Beardy, beardy. Rebel Media, another poor attempt.
a video. Keep them coming and I'll keep knocking them out of the park. Until next time guys. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam brother.